Hey, good day everybody and welcome back to the Air Warfare Group. This is Juice and today is going to be uh, the final episode in our Case 1 series and this is going to be the Case 1 departure uh, from the uh, Roosevelt. I've got the TR on the deck here. I've got it set up with some uh, some eye candy on the deck, a few airplanes, stuff like that, support equipment and all that. I've uh, got the supercarrier module which uh, puts in the air ground crew and everything. And so what we did is we went ahead and started up and we um, made sure we had everything set up, INS alignment and everything. Uh, we'll go over some of the parameters of that real quick. So when you are starting up, uh, you'll want to make sure that you select hook bypass to carrier and turn your anti-skid off. You will want to make sure that your lights are set up correctly uh, for the deck and everything. You'll want to make sure that your INS is aligned before you start moving uh, on the CV alignment, and you'll want to make sure that your parking brake is set when you do that. So those are all done now. Uh, I've already set my bingo to 3500. I've got my lights set up on my panel and on my cockpit uh, as well on the interior. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go and, um, oh, I'm on chalks right now. I've checked my aircraft weight, so I'm going to bring up my, uh, if you don't see my mouse moving, uh, to the MFDs. I'm going to bring up my MFD for the checklist. Uh, so let's bring that up over here in the right MFD, our DDI. Let's go twice and then top, or left, top right. All right, I got my w aircraft weight and my nose wheel trim is uh, nose wheel, uh, or nose wheel, my nose, uh, my aileron trim uh, or elevator trim uh, is set to 12 degrees right now, uh, which is standard when you do the reset, and I'm at 44,000. Uh, so I'm going to bring up my checklist. And there we are. I've got my uh, catapult longitudinal trims set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember that I need to, I'm between uh, 44,000 and, and below, 44,000 pounds and below. At 45,000 to 49,000, or 48,000, I believe that says, is 17 degrees and above 49,000. So I am closer to the, uh, I am below the 45,000. So I'm going to use the 16 degrees trim and realize that it's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit not so aggressive when it goes off. So I'm going to be, you know, hands off on the takeoff. And then once I uh, clear the deck, then I take control, race gear, stuff like that, and flaps up. All right, so let's go ahead and drop that. I've got that on my checklist now. I can bring it up anytime just by hitting the K button and release when I want it to go away. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call for chocks off by the ground crew. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Copy. Wait for him to call them. Now, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply brakes, release the parking brakes. And you know, in the real world, you'd have a marshaller, uh, plane captain guiding you out and everything. So throttles are set. We are going to push out now. Starting to move. Nose wheel steering engaged to high. And we're taking it easy on the deck. You never want a speed taxi on the deck. Not a safe thing to do. All right, while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and use my left DDI for my engine information. And let's go ahead and cat from cat four this time. Actually, let's go cat three. We've been directed to cat three this time. I haven't done a lot of takeoffs from cat three because usually we keep that open for landings and takeoffs or for landings and bolters, wave offs. All right, so I'm going to try to line up as good as I can with these guys. Oh, there he goes. He's giving me the wing spread, so I'm going to go ahead and pause. Now, on the wing spread, what I do is I try to do what the what the manual says to do is you lower it to the spread position and you wait until they're fully folded before you lock it. If anybody out there has worked carrier operations or flew these jets, let me know why they do that because I I got a theory. My theory is is that the locking mechanism will lock it in place and you could break some pinion gears or something like that. So wings are down and locked. I'm going to go ahead and unsafe my seat. Now the seat is armed. All right, he's guiding me in. I'm going to go to the left a little bit. Now that the wings are down and locked, 
Let's get lined up here. There we go. Now the ding wings are down and locked, I can go ahead and lower my flaps to the takeoff position. Now this is what's going to be required before I can do my uh, my flap trim or my uh, my elevator trim. So let's go ahead and get up here on the. Well, he'll pause us. Okay, now while he's doing that, let's go ahead and trim to 16 degrees, nose up. There we go. So if you're having a hard time getting your trim set, it's because you don't have your flaps down at least to take off position. All right, he's asking for the launch bar. I have that also slaved to a switch on my Hotas. There it goes down. Launch bar indication in the HUD or in the panel on the upper left eyebrow. All right. Now we're moving forward. Should see us engage the shuttle here in a second. Right about there. There we go. We've got to ease ourselves over that. We don't want to put too much shock on the system. The whole back bar is already in place. Almost there. You can see it in the shuttle and should drop now. There we go. Animations aren't totally good on that. All right. So now he, uh, I've got my catapult set up. Okay. He's asking me to raise my launch bar. So I'm going to cycle that button again. There it is. Up. Launch bar retracted. Light went out the panel. Now the shooter is now asking me to run up my throttles. I'm going to run it up to 80%. Let it check instruments. Everything looks good. It looks good down there. Full burner. And salute. All right. Time for a ride, guys. Case one departure. And we are off. Hands off right now. There you go. Nice pull up. Gear up. Flaps up. Climbing out and burner. Slowly pulling back at 250. Out of burner. <clears throat> We're climbing to 500 feet. Doing a clearing turn. Check, check, check. Clearing turn to the right side of the ship. Almost at our 500 feet. There's 500. Let's hold there. Inching our speed up to 300 knots. Okay, now we're going to clear back, clear left, and turn back to BRC. The reason you want to do this, and the reason they have you do this in the real world, is so that you're not directly in front of the ship as it's steaming. So if you do have to punch out. Okay, we're a little bit over our speed, a little bit over altitude. There we go. On altitude, let's get back to 300. Now, one thing that I forgot to do is I forgot to activate the TACAN. 4, 7, 1, X-ray. There we go. Now we got our DME. This will tell us this will tell us when we're at our 7 miles away from the carrier where we can start our climb out. So the procedure is climb out at stay at or below 500 feet. Let's get back over to BRC which is 355 300 knots until you reach 7 miles. Then you climb out on your normal departure heading whatever that is. So inch our way back over to 355. We're below 500. We're around 300 plus or minus 5%. And again, you can tell I'm practicing this. I'm not teaching this. There's 355. Let's get to 500 feet. We're at 302. And we're beyond 7 miles from the DME from the Theodore Roosevelt. So now we can start our climb out. Now we just go under control and we are good to go. Set up instruments, panel, uh, instruments, uh, uh, lighting, configuration as required. Set up for your mission. That's uh, just a brief video about how to do a case one departure and gave you some numbers there again the DCS uh, FA 18 guide is really good about this it has all the case one case two case three departure parameters nice graphics and everything I'd recommend you start there Chuck's guides awesome too uh, and then definitely if you want to get into the uh, ABCD manual and the CB ops manual those are uh, links that you can find in the description below have a good day, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the series on the Super uh, Supercarrier Case 1. Uh, we've got a couple other projects we're working on currently right now, and so we are going to be busy with some uh, new format, new changes, and stuff like that. I'll, I'll add this video to the Case 1 uh, watch list or playlist if you want to see those. And this is the final episode of the Case 1. If you have any questions about Case 1 or anything you'd like to see that complements the Case 1, be sure to leave me a comment 
If you found this series uh, helpful for you in any way, go ahead and share it with your friends. Subscribe if you like. Come back for more. Everybody have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.